how to hydro it. Yo, what is up YouTube, it's Dark Fang here, back with another video, and today I'm going to be doing the long waited for a Hydroid Prime review. Well, well waited for by long waited for by me that is. <laughs> Don't watch as my Warframe videos. But anyway, hi, um, Hydro Prime looks awesome and is really fun to play with, his abilities are so much fun to use. I've never had the original Hydroid, so it's my first time playing as him. So let's get right into the review, so let's begin with the stats. Hydro Prime, like the original, has 100 health that goes up to 300 at rank 30, 175 shields that goes up to 525 at rank 30, which is much better than the normal Hydroid with 125 shield that goes up to 375 at rank 30, so yeah, significantly better. He has 250 armor, which is a little better than the original with 200, 150 energy which goes up to 225 at rank 30, which is again an upgrade from the norm which has 125 energy which goes up to 188 at rank 30 and like the original Hydroid he has a sprint speed of 1.05 his mod polarities are V, D, 2 dashes and a dash in the aura slot also note you have to be MR5 to actually get him alright now let's talk about his drop locations his relics are Meso N5, which is found in Jupiter, in Io in Jupiter, in rotation A, so that's about 10 waves, I think. Neo H1, which can be found in Hydron on Sedna, and uh, Sync again, it's. I usually get it in the first um, 5 uh, waves. Easily. It's like it's a common drop, but it's hard to actually get the system from it. And the last two are Neo SA and Axie N4 which are both found in Hierakon in Pluto, which is the excavation mission. Um, you could also go to Eris, but I found it easier to go on Hierakon. Plus I don't have Eris. At least that's where I got them. And when building the parts, you will need to follow them. But in your optics, you will need 15,000 credits, 5 neural sensors, 1,100 plastids, 8, uh, 8,750 alloy plates, and 12,750 nanospores. For the chassis, you will need again 15,000 crystals, 2 argon crystals, credits I mean, 15,000 credits, 2 argon crystals, 5 gallium, 10,500 salvage, and uh, no, 6,000, and 6,750 ferrite. And for the systems, you will need again 15,000 credits, 2 nitane, which isn't that much thankfully, 10 control modules, 1,300 circuits, and 925 cryotics. All of the parts will take 12 hours to build and 2 plat to rush. And also, the blueprint you, for the blueprint, you will need all the parts obviously, 25,000 credits, and 5 Oregon cells. And like all frames, it will take 72 hours to build and 50 plat to rush. Um, so, yeah, it's not really that hard to build him. Only 2 nitane. Uh, what else is really hard to get here? Uh, Argon crystals are easy to get in the void. Uh, yeah, cryotics you can just use the excavation while getting the singer easily get. At least uh, 925 well, over that. Oregon cells you can just get in the. Uh, I find either the derelict or. I usually get them from the boss on Saturn, I think. Lieutenant, whatever his name is. The guy you get Ember from. But yeah, wow, so that, that, actually, that part actually took so long to type up, but saying it wasn't that fast. So yeah, next we'll get onto the abilities. Alright, so for the abilities, uh, first I'll start with the passive, which is basically when you do a slam attack, it uh, basically summons a tentacle out the ground which basically just grabs enemies and tosses them around for a bit. So yeah, it's actually pretty cool, you just get your own tentacle just by slamming the ground with your melee weapon. 
So yeah, let's get into the actual abilities. So Hydroid's first ability is called Tempest Barrage, and basically he sends like missiles made of water. Or his description that DE calls it is uh, calls the barrage of liquid fury. Uh, here, the augment for this ability is called Corroding Barrage, and basically for every projectile, there's a hundred percent chance of inflicting corrosive status effect. A corrosive status effect. You can get this by reaching the rank of Genius under the Cephalon Pseudo Syndicate or the rank of Flawless under the new Logo Syndicate and will cost 25,000 standing. Uh, that's the same for all of the all of his augments. So yeah, just so that I don't have to keep saying that, that's the same for all. Uh, mods that affect this are Duration mods for uh, how long the barrage will last and Strength mods of how uh, much damage it does. Also Efficiency would be a good idea. Well. All of his for all, basically all of his abilities. If you if you play anything like these, that is because like I just keep using abilities. They're just so much fun. Um, his second ability is called Tidal Surge, and basically Hydro turns into a wave and hurls forward. It's pretty much kind of like your maneuver ability. It's affected by ability strengths um, for uh, how much it like hits for and range for how far you go with it. Uh, the augment for the augment for this is called tidal Im impunity, tidal impunity, and what it does it clears sta status effects and grants six seconds of proc immunity for yourself and allies that come into contact with tidal surge. Uh, next ability we have is called is pretty much what Hydroid's famous for, and it's called undertow. While well, Hydroid quite literally turns into a puddle and traps enemies by drowning in it, drowning in it. Drowning them in it. You can also click on enemies while in undertow and just pulls them in with tentacles. The animals will take damage over time, and this ability takes uh, this ability takes energy over time. So yeah, I think it takes like uh, twelve energy to actually cast it, and then it will just keep taking energy while you're in there. Um, while in undertow, you can use other abilities to damage enemies, like tempest barrage, and just bring down. Uh, barrages onto yourself and that will just damage the enemies and you can tidal surge and just move around faster while in undertow. You can move around but it's pretty slow. Um, so yeah, mods for this would be uh, damage and range. Range for how far you can stretch like a tentacle to pull enemies in and damage for how much damage it does when you're at, when they're under the actual puzzle. The augments for Undertow is called cur cur Curative Undertow, and what it does is it lets your allies enter the pool to regain 30% health every 1.5 seconds, so that's pretty helpful. But with each ally in the pool, it increases your energy drain. Lastly, we have Tentacle Swarm, Hydroid's Force and Ultimate Ability, pretty much, which um, summons the Kraken and a whole lot of tentacles around the area, which just wreak havoc. Uh, like the passives, the tentacles grab onto enemies and swings them around and do damage. Mods for disability would be range and damage and duration for how far the tentacles can stretch to grab them, I think, how much damage they deal, and how long they stay there for, pretty much. These mods also affect the passive, so yeah. The augments for disability is called Pilfering Swarm which makes enemies who have been killed by tentacles have an additional drop chance. So, kind of like Necrosis Desecrate, but yeah, so, yeah, kind of like that, but the tentacles to kill them. Uh, but yeah, that was his abilities, and yeah, how they work, and it's pretty cool. So, yeah guys, Hydro Prime is like much better than the original Hydroid. Looks wise, stats wise, yes about it. The only reason I didn't get an original Hydroid is because he didn't look that nice to be honest, in my opinion. But now Hydro Prime looks amazing, so I spent the time farming for him. Um, if you haven't got him yet, go get him, whether it's through the access pack, the um, uh, farming for him, or just trading for him, plat or whatever. He's worth it to be honest, at least in my opinion. Uh hope it's my first review, I hope you all enjoyed. Thanks all for watching. If you did enjoy it, leave a like, uh subscribe for more, 
join discord links in description it's kind of getting dead so yeah um share the video bell, press the bell button to get notified of my videos and i'll see you in the next one wow.